presentation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would like to welcome everyone here to the fourth and last webinar of the SNS uh, series for Call One project presentations. I'm extremely happy to be here with you today, and I'm very pleased to see the projects uh, being presented to the community. So I'll dive uh, right in. Uh, David, uh, if you can uh, show the next slide, please. Uh, I will give a very brief uh, general overview and uh, highlighting streams uh, B2 and B3. As you can see on this slide, we start with a roadmap uh, showing the three phases of SNS uh, work program. Today we are in phase one as most projects started uh, this January. We will continue with stage two projects tailored towards more detailed system design and optimization. And this uh, leads to having the commercial 6G systems by 2030. This slide also showcases the timeline for the three GPP standardization. Important as SNS uh, program offers opportunities to the European stakeholders, including the industry, research and academia, to have a leading position in the standardization process. The next slide uh, will present the first work program structured around drivers, enables, and targets, on which Colin previously mentioned. Streams uh, A and D are part of the evolutionary path, and streams B and C of the revolutionary path. The results of the first call summarize 35 projects, uh, encompassing uh, easy funding of 250 million euros. The next slide presents the result of the portfolio analysis. Uh, this analysis, uh, so the next slide uh, presents the results of the portfolio analysis. And this analysis outlines 288 unique beneficiaries. And there we can also see uh, the vertical and use cases that focus on media, gaming, and industrial IoT. The next slide presents the details for Stream B. Uh, the target outcomes uh, address disruptive research towards wireless communication, reflecting the challenges which are presented in the SRIA, and they cover wireless technologies and systems capable to meet the expected 6G radio capabilities, the exploitation of new spectrums such as terahertz and subterahertz spectrum, uh, new higher efficiency mobile communication approaches such as cell-free networking and the identification of microelectronic solutions and technologies. The right side of the slide outlines the scope of the stream, while the next slide presents the details for stream B3. Uh, the target outcomes uh, address disruptive research for complementary technologies, enabling uh, to support the full potential of future 6G wireless communication and service infrastructure as listed in the SRIA and cover the availability of fixed black hole and long haul networks with performance levels which are compatible with the KPIs in terms of bandwidth, capacity, latency, flexibility. Uh, it also speaks to NTN coverage of remote areas and uh, last but not least, the development of 3D scalable networks capable to address uh, flying devices beyond the current network solutions designed for 3D usage. Uh, the final slide uh, will showcase um, my main uh, last message uh, in that projects are instrumental communication avenues. As you can notice, we are releasing press releases as soon as there is something relevant for the community. We have a new website uh, which has been launched just a few months ago and there you can find details on work uh, programs, procurement, open calls, frequently asked questions which are updated on a regular basis and also advertisements of new job opportunities. We have uh, quite an active presence on LinkedIn and we use the platform to broaden the JU's messages to different stakeholders. We also have a Twitter account and a YouTube account uh, where you can have uh, access to the recordings of past events, such as, for example, the previous webinars and also the recordings of the current webinar. Last but not least, 
uh, the um, project communication guidelines have been just shared with all the projects uh, recently. Thank you. This is all for me and the floor is yours again.